Well, hi there, this is John Tang, and uh, I am getting ready to head off to my men's physique competition, which is, today is December 10th, 2016. I haven't done a show in about four years. I think with having four kids and a lot of stress and personal trials and tribulations, let's call it, over the last four years, it's been very distracting for me to train as intensely as you need to to do it something like this but i finally made a decision that i for survival's sake i needed to do another show and i'm just very goal oriented if i don't have a target to shoot towards i just kind of float around like a leaf in the wind blown in the wind and uh so having this show finally setting my mind to do this show has been a, a lifesaver really in many many ways and i'm not saying that i'm as prepared as I would like to be. I've been more prepared in the past, but I've mentally prepared myself to do this show here on December 10th as a springboard to do the LA Fit Expo on January 7th, 2017, and then just keep rolling from there. So I figured I gotta just get into it, get back on the merry-go-round, get back into this, and take it from there. So I've got a great trainer who's helped me. He's done a couple physique shows himself. He's a young man, and uh, he's the trainer of the gym that I go to, the training manager. And having my meal here just before I leave here, three pancakes, three eggs, two, two pieces of bacon, and four ounces of water. That was his prescription for this. It's a little bit different than how I've trained, but I've tried to humble myself, follow his directions, keep it natural, and have fun under the circumstances. It's very intense, but I'm excited about it. I love the world of the men's physique bodybuilding. Everyone's really nice at the amateur level, not the NPC level. Everyone's encouraging, nice, courteous, no problems. And this one will be in Culver City. This is the Excalibur at the Veterans Memorial Auditorium. So we're gonna have a good time. I think I was able to keep my temperament really good this year or for this show, surprisingly with um, the dieting that's required. And I fit almost all of my clothes. And over this last four years, certainly the last three, all my custom suits, many of them, I just blew way out of them just with uh, letting my diet go out of control. And uh, emotionally, it was a very trying time. So now to have done this show, in a way, I've, I feel like I've already won because I'm fitting into all those clothes, these beautiful three-piece custom suits, all my, I'm uh, getting close to my high school waist size. So th that's where we're going, you know, we're going back, we're turning back the clock in so many different ways. I've, I've always even felt like just removing this extra me this around my waist is almost erasing those years over these last three or four years of all the drama that I have gone through in so many different ways, personally and professionally. It's almost as if I'm just wiping that clean, that toxin from my life. And certainly I want to remember these experiences so that I can be more mature and more uh, streetwise about how to move forward for the future. So these type of situations rise in again, uh, in the, uh, again in, in the future. <laughs> But in terms of carrying that around on a day-to-day -day basis, like a billboard, no, I want that to go away. So that's what's happening. So trophy or no trophy, hopefully there is a trophy. I'm entering two categories, hopefully two trophies. But uh, regardless, I've already won, having come this far. And I want to encourage anybody out there. You know, this is advice that I've been given by guys who've lifted for many, many years, exercised for many, many years, well beyond my years successful in business, very successful in business, multimillionaires. Uh, one person who I can think of in particular who just said, John, get into the gym and just work out as hard as you can. I mean, this simple advice like that. If you're in a circumstance where you feel like there's so much that's out of your control, you're right, there is. There is mu there's very few things in life that we can control. But you can control walking through the doors of a gym 
and spending at least 20 minutes through your choice of exercise and leaving. And that's a choice that you could make. And it's a choice that maybe you are not choosing to make. But I would encourage you as we go into this new year, 2017, or whatever year you're listening to this video, or whatever day you happen to be listening to this video, make that choice. Because for me, that's been a huge, huge change. It's almost like free drugs. It's free drugs, folks. Natural drugs, the stuff from your body, just pumping through your system as you exercise. You don't need external drugs, which only send you down a downward death spiral. This is the free stuff. This is the natural stuff that your body can accommodate, can work with to help you improve. Use those. Get into the gym. If you don't like the gym, walk around the block. Whatever, some form of exercise, whatever it happens to be. You might need, not be a gym person. If it's golf or tennis or swimming or running or walking or jumping up and down on a trampoline, do that. It's a lifesaver for you and uh, it will change your life. So here we are, 45 years of age with four young children, ages 11, 9, 5, and 3. Happily married now for 13 years as of uh, another 10 days or so. Let's see, 15 days, December 27th. 17 days. And we're doing another physique show. This is big. This is unheard of. I'm doing the impossible because it is possible.